Okay, uh, this is a custom ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. Um, this is basically the Wi-Fi version. Um, and I can never pronounce the name right, so I'm just going to go to the uh, to the site on XDA's forum. And I'll show you. Uh, let's see here. Right here. Um, as you can see, uh, the developer's name is um, I pronounce I would pronounce it Ryu Kiri. Um, and I know I'm killing it, but it's a very, very well put together ROM. Um, I mean, it, it's just packed. I mean, it's what you would uh, think Pac-Man is. Okay, let's just go ahead and get into the ROM. Um, this is the screen, uh, or the wallpaper that comes with it. Right now, these icons are mine. Uh, or not mine personally, but uh, ones that I purchased off the Play Store. Um, and I have downloaded um, some apps um, that I need. Uh, especially like to do this video, AZ Screen Recorder. Um, and then, of course, there's a lot of other apps on here that I downloaded. Um, but it comes with the basics. Um, I just want to see here with some. Uh, hmm. Okay, anyways. Get into the settings. And this is the standard theme. Okay. I also have my uh, pull down uh, quick settings. I've added uh, extra on there, which you can. But as you can see here, the settings, uh, it's set up um, more uh, in a tablet UI format. Um, and as you can see, uh, this is uh, Pac-Man uh, Nightly. Um, and this is an, an official, uh, it's uh, Android 5.0.2. I am running um, Bofla's kernel. He just released a kernel for uh, CM12 and CM12.1 based ROMs uh, for the uh, Galaxy Note 8.1 um, uh, for I think all three variants um, which would be the uh, the N5110 uh, the N5100 and the N5120. I'm almost positive the N5120 is there too. At least it's in the works. And the kernel is working great. And there are reasons why you flash a custom kernel, but you know that's completely your decision. The kernel that comes with this ROM works just great. Um, it comes with a uh, performance center where you can change your, uh, you know, of course your uh, processor settings uh, like uh, your CPU, uh, max speed, minimum speed. Um, you could also change some governors on that, um, but you're not going to be able to, to overclock it or to um, set any of your GPU settings um, unless you flash a custom kernel. And the only custom kernel I'm aware of right now that works with a CM type ROM or a non TouchWiz ROM is. Uh, uh, Bofala right now, and I'm probably mispronouncing that too. Uh, let's see. But you have your basic uh, everything on here. Um, security. Uh, you, you have your theme, uh, your your uh, Cyanogen mod uh, theme engine, uh, where you can download your favorite themes uh, and use them. Right now, I'm running stock. Um, that way you can see what it looks like when you download it. Um, and 
then we have our pack settings. Uh, under the pack settings, we have your animation controls. Uh, you can change system animations, um, your list view, um, scrolling. This is the one that I change. I like being able to scroll through something a lot faster, uh, and it does work very well. Uh, and then you have your keyboard animations and your toast animations. Um, let's see. App circle bar. Um, I don't have this set up. It basically puts a, uh, a, uh, a shortcut that you can add or remove apps to. Um, and it you can put it on either the right or left hand side of the screen. Uh, and here are your button placements and changing. You can uh, uh, configure the, uh, the hard keys on your tablet um, to pretty much any way you like it. Uh, gesture Anywhere. I do not use Gesture Anywhere, but it's nice that it's on there. And the Notification Drawer. This is where you would set up your, uh, your quick toggles. Um, I have uh, I always set it up for the right so that if I just pull down on the right hand side you know you don't have to pull down twice um, let's see here oh uh, let's see here's where you would set up your toggles I've already got quite a few of them on there uh, the ones that I use the most um, I did try to use screen record it it seemed like it was working, but when I tried to play it back, it just didn't work. But those are what I have set up, and I think that's what's left. <laughs> so I have a lot set on there. Um, status bar mods. Uh, you have your battery status style. Um, percentage, your battery bar options, which... Uh, pretty much if for me to put a custom ROM on my any of my phones or any of my tablets I've got to have a battery bar uh, if it doesn't if it's a really good ROM then I have a uh, app that I purchased from the Play Store that I will use if I have to but I need that battery bar uh, I like it I can I can hardly see the notification or the little icons in the uh, uh, status bar so I really need that battery bar um, let's see, and your clock and date, um, you can do the normal, change the color, center, uh, you can put it center or either side, um, AM, PM, date, you know, uh, your brightness control, you can allow, which I don't know why I don't have that checked, um, and you can enable traffic indicators and color them if you like, I don't use it, so I don't have that uh, on there. Um, then you have your wake lock blocker which um, I'm not even going to get into that. Uh, I suggest, highly suggest you don't use it unless you really know what you're doing. Um, other than that, uh, that's pretty pretty much it. It's, um, it is a very good ROM, I, I, I will tell you that. Um, I will set a theme here real quick. Um, uh, let's go with the uh, purple pop, I think. I might mix it up. Um, I'm going to go with the style on this. Because I love the purple and green that he's done. And this one's not available in the Play Store. <laughs> I don't think. Um, and then I'm going to go with, I think, Empire for my status bar. And that's about it. That's all I'm going to theme. Now, I did notice that I think it's more particular to the tablet than the custom ROMs. Um, for some reason, when I try to enable any of the boot animations, they never work. So, all right. Um, 
I like to keep the stock wallpaper. I like the Pac-Man ROM wallpaper. It's, it's just really cool. Um, I don't know what else to show you. Um, well, that was a quick overview of, uh, of course, the Pac-Man ROM. Uh, and this is a nightly official um, that you can go to the XDA uh, website and, um, and um, go through the forum there and read up on all the stuff that's happening with it, um, any changes. Um, or you can actually just go online, type in Pac-Man ROM, um, and do it that way. Um, I will say that the ROM is very, very fluid. It runs good, and I highly, highly recommend uh, Buffalo's Kernel. Um, it really, really makes the ROM run better. Um, you can tweak it to make the battery the battery life very very good on it all right that concludes uh, this uh, short overview of uh, Pac-Man ROM for the Galaxy Note 8.0 uh, GTN 5110 see you around